lovely day, Mayor Madison. It certainly is, Bob. And I'm so excited about the sand sculpture competition today. Have you brought the sand? It's on two tons low loader. Ah, here he is now. Bringing sand to the beach. I've done stranger things, but not many. But why do we need sand, Bob? There's loads here. To make sand sculptures, you need special building sand, which has angular grains mixed with silt and clay. Beach sand is rounded and has very little silt or clay. Huh? Mr Bentley means sculptures made from building sand last longer. Oh, OK. Why don't you and Mayor Madison have a go yourselves, Mr Bentley? We've got enough sand and moulds for another team. Oh, I don't really like to get my hands dirty. Goodness, is that a real sapphire? Oh, this! Uh, yes, Wendy, I've been lent this priceless ring by the Spring City Museum to wear at a ball tonight. It's a teeny bit big, but it goes so well with the colour of my dress. Right. We'd better get the beach set up or there won't be a competition. Can we build it? Yes, yes we can! can. an official weather forecaster for the event, Bob? After all, wind or rain could ruin the sculptures. I'd be happy oh, to... Oh, could I do that, Bob? I've got a new weather app on my phone. Of course you can, Leah. You're now our official weather forecaster. And what does it say about today's weather, young man? According to this, the forecast for Spring City is excellent. Great. But make sure you keep checking in case it changes, Leah. Yes, Bob. Hmm. Welcome, everyone, to the Sand Sculpture Competition. This year's theme is Under the Sea. And I can't wait to see all your amazing creations. Let the sculpting begin! Yay! <laughs> you can wash your hands at the tap over there, Maya. Ah. Looks like fun, doesn't it, Wendy? We've got an extra sand mould and plenty of sand. Yeah! What's the weather forecast, Leo? Still sunny, Mr B. Oh? Hmm. <gasps> no! My ring! What's that, Madam Mayor? My ring! It's fallen off! We have to oh. find it, Mr Bentley! Ah! Don't worry, Mayor Madison. I'm sure we'll find it. We must! I have to return it to the museum tomorrow. That ring's priceless! I was standing next to Scoop when he made the sand blocks, so it must be in one of the sculptures. <gasps> I don't mind looking through our sculpture, as long as there's enough time to build them again. If people really don't mind. Oh. Let's find that ring, everyone. <sighs> I'm sorry, everyone, but I was sure it would be in one of the sculptures. Um... What is it, Jenny? Have you remembered something? Only that I saw you wearing the ring after we started sculpting, so it couldn't be in a sand block. Then it's lost! Gone! Forever! I suppose I'd better tell the museum. Please cancel my appearance at the ball, Mr Bentley. Hang on. I've got something at home that I'm certain will find your ring. Madam Mayor, you shall go to the ball. Carry on sculpting, everyone. Will we have time to rebuild our sculptures, Bob? Of course, Brandon. Wendy, Scoop and I just have to make new sand blocks first. Right, four new sand blocks. Everyone ready to start again? What's that? It's my metal detector scoop, and it's going to find Mayor Madison's sapphire ring. Oh! How does it work, then? Oh! 
<laughs> I just can't think of a single under-the-sea thing that isn't already being made. So what shall we sculpt? All I can think of is a giant ring. Oh! <gasps> Sorry, it's just a tin can. Oh. Hmm. 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 <sighs> no. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Have you checked the weather lately? It's looking very stormy up there. Just a few minutes ago. Here, look. <gasps> Leo, you've been checking Spring City in the Bahamas. <gasps> The sun always shines in the Bahamas, Leo. But what about here? This is our Spring City forecast. Oh, no. Bob, I've been checking the wrong weather forecast. There's a massive storm on the way right now. But what about the sculptures? They'll all be ruined again. I've got a tarpaulin we could cover them with. But we've got to keep it held down. Think, Bob. What have we got back at the yard? Just the other machines. That's it, Leo. Right, team. We've got sand sculptures to protect. Can we save them? Yes, yes we can! will be okay in this storm, Bob. Don't worry, they'll be fine. Where's Mr Bentley? I'm still metal, Mr Bentley. Ah, yes. Sorry, Philip. Everyone okay? Oh, no prop, Bob. I had a lovely nap. I've never felt so filthy in my entire life. We're fine, Bob. Right, let's have a look at these sand sculptures. Yay! Yeah! What a relief. How long have we got to finish off the sculptures? Just ten minutes. I'm sure about that. <gasps> what can we make in ten minutes? Um... Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks. Oh, it was all my dad's idea. Well done. <sighs> Wonderful. Super! Oh. Very impressive. Fantastic. Oh. Oh. Right. Ta -da! Oh. Never mind. It's the taking part that counts. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Wendy, I think we've finally found something we can't build. <clears throat> it's time to announce our worthy winners Leo and Curtis! Huh? Yeah! yeah! Well done! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done! Thank you. Oh. Sorry, Mayor Madison. Oh. Come on, you can wash the sand off at the tap. No way! <gasps> I don't believe it. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, Madam Mayor. I haven't been able to locate you. It must have slipped off when I first washed my hands. Oh. Mr Bentley, there's no time to stand around looking glum. I have a ball to go to. Yes, Madam Mayor. Mr Bentley, you worry too much. Oh. Do you need a cup of tea? Quick, space robot! 
short mark. Get ready for hyperspace. Right behind you, Space Captain Leo. Three, two, one. Blast off! You two look like you're having fun. We're playing space robots in hyperspace, Bob. It's a new computer game. Everyone's playing it. <laughs> Brilliant. But we've got a big day tomorrow. Maybe you should think about getting some sleep. Oh, can we stay up a bit longer, Bob? Please? We're nearly at the top level. <laughs> OK. But remember, you're having a sleepover because we've got a very early start. Thanks, Thanks Bob. Bob. I've made up the sofa bed for you, Leo, so don't be too late. OK. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. Attention, space robot muck. The galaxy needs you. Wake up! <laughs> I'm awake, Space Captain Leo. Just one more level to go. <laughs> what? <sighs> what? It can't be morning already. Good morning, Leo. All ready for the big day? I guess. <sighs> morning, all. Nice to see you up bright and breezy. Leo, I need you to load those hooks and plates onto Muck, please. <sighs> yes, Bob. Hi, everyone. Morning, morning Wendy. Wendy. Right. Today, we're finishing off the Spring City wheel. Yesterday, we built the A-frame and Dizzy cemented it in. So today, we have to build the wheel itself and raise it up so it can spin around. Then we have to fit the observation pods for people to sit in. Leo, Muck, this is where you come in. The pods are fitted with hooks and metal plates, so we need you to bring them to the site. You can count on us, Bob. And we've promised the Spring City Rockets that they can have first go on the wheel. So let's get going. Last one there is a wheelbarrow. I really feel like a wheelbarrow. What's the matter, Mac? I'm just so tired. Permission to rest up for a bit, Space Captain Leo? Oh, good idea. If we have a quick nap now, <laughs> we'll be full of energy later. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are the observation pods. And the curved steel tubes for the outside of the wheel are over there. But where's Two-Ton with the spokes? We need them to hold the wheel together, like the spokes on a bicycle wheel. Good morning, Bob. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Tuton. So now all we're missing is Leo and Muck with the hooks and plates. They should be here by now. I'll give Leo a call. <laughs> no answer. They must be held up somewhere. But don't we need Leo and Muck if we're going to get the job done before the Spring City rockets get here? We certainly do. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Yes. Let's press on anyway. Lofty, you've got lots of lifting to do. Yes, Bob. Wendy, you'll have to help me bolt the frame together. And Tuton, we'll need those spokes when we've made the frame. You can depend on me, Bob. One Spring City wheel coming up. Spring City Wheel! On your best behaviour now. Oh, goodness. They're here already. I want to go really high! Oh, isn't it ready yet? Um, not quite. We're just waiting for some parts. Aww! But that means you get to watch Lofty lift the wheel into position. Hooray! Yay! Yay! Over here, please, everyone. <laughs> OK, Lofty, all ready. Righto. Hey! Go on, 
Lofty, you can do it! keeps his promises. Still no sign of Leo and Muck? No, and I'm getting a bit worried about them now. I'll try calling them again. Will we really get to ride it today, Wendy? Of course you will, JJ. I know. While we wait, shall we play a game? Yes! Let's play hide and seek. I'll count to ten and everyone hide. <laughs> One, two, three, four... Five. Come on, Leo, answer. Six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Coming! Oh? Where has everyone gone? <laughs> Hello? Leo, where are you? We need those hooks and metal plates <laughs> right now. Sorry, Bob. We stopped for a bit and, um, drifted off to sleep. What? But don't worry, we'll be back with you just as soon as I wake Muck up. Well, you'd better hurry because... Found you! Oh, I found Bob! Um, <laughs> I wasn't actually hiding, Lofty. Ew, that's right. Muck, wake up! Muck! <laughs> Muck! And Mook are on their way. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and that's why we always wear a safety hat on a building site. <laughs> I knew. Shall I sing Lofty's lifting song next? Well, I lift in the morning and I lift in the evening and I lift in the afternoon, which connects the morning with the evening, which is how time works. Everybody, I... I'll never wake him up. We shouldn't have stayed up all night playing sp... Mm. That's it! Space Robot! Mm. Attention, Space Robot Muck! Mm. Bob the Builder needs you! Oh, I'm awake, Space Captain Leo! Come on, Space Robot! We've got a build to rescue! Hyperdrive to maximum! I lift things up, then I lower them down. <sighs> I lift things up oh. and then I lower them down. Seventh verse, everybody! Stop! Why? Because, um, because here comes <gasps> Mook! Yes! Bob, everyone, I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. What happened? We stopped for a quick rest and we fell asleep. We were tired because I kept us up all night playing Space Robots in Hyperspace. Space Robots in Hyperspace? Yeah, it took ages to reach the top level. We love Space Robots! But we've never reached the top level. Can you show us, Leo? <laughs> yes, go on then, Leo. Thanks, Bob. Yay! Thanks, Leo! Right. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Captain Leo, are you going to have a go on the wheel? Oh. Well, I suppose even space robots need to sleep sometimes. Come on, everyone.
everyone. Let's get going. Right to. I'm ready, Bob. Me too, Bob. I'm here. Huh? huh? Um, Mark. One, two, three. Ah! Whoa! Ouch! Ooh. Morning, everyone. Now, today's a very important day for you three. Are we working in Spring City, Bob? Are we building something big? Are we, um... Um... I can't think of anything to ask, Bob. I'll explain everything after I've got my toolbox. You three meet me and Wendy by the jet spray. Last one there's a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, stop! Ouch. Ow. Watch out, Merc. Ow! Sorry, Scoop. All right, you three. We need you on your best behaviour. It's your checkup day. Checkup check day? I am not aware of that phrase. It's the day we make sure your tyres, lights and brakes are all working properly and your engines are in good order. Curtis is coming over to give each of you a full mechanical examination. Curtis! Hey, Curtis! We like Curtis. And he'll give you a mark out of ten. The higher your mark, the better you've done. Hooray! I'm going to get top marks! How do you know, Scoop? Because I'm yellow, I'm bright and I get things right! <laughs> But, Bob, I don't want to be examined. Don't worry, Lofty. All three of you are in great condition. Well, um... Shh! But first, we need you looking your best. So, it's time for a good scrub. <gasps> oh, no! Can we wash it? Oh. Um, yes, yes, we can! can. Well, don't you three look smart? Yeah! I'm yellow, I'm clean, I'm the cleanest machine! Does that mean I'll get extra marks, Bob? <laughs> we'll see. I'll call Curtis and tell him you're ready. Oh. What's the matter? What if I don't get any marks at all? Don't worry. Bob said we're all in great condition. I'm going to get top marks. My top lights work. My bucket works. My emergency light flashes. <gasps> oh, no! My emergency light's broken! He's yellow, he's strong, but his light's gone wrong! <laughs> it's your fault for bashing into me! <gasps> that is so unfair! It was met you! You did it on purpose! I know you did! What? That could have really hurt! If you hadn't stopped, I wouldn't have bumped into you and then... Oh, never mind. I'm sure Bob will fix it for you. Curtis won't be long. He's on his way. On his way? I'm never going to get top marks with a broken light. It won't matter, Scoop. I'll have to hide somewhere until Curtis is gone. If they can't find me, they can't give me a checkup. Ah! Oh, no! I'm all mucky now. That's even less marks for me. I need somewhere to hide. The back gate! I'll hide outside the back gate! Oh, Bob said that we shouldn't go out of the back gate without telling him first! <gasps> Curtis is here! Oh, no, I can't let him see me like this! Yes! They'll never find me in here! I scuffed my tyres now! Hello, everyone! Hi, Hi Curtis. Curtis! It's checkup time! We're all ready for you, Curtis. Not quite. Where's Scoop? 
Um, Scoop's not here. Um, he doesn't want to check up because he won't get top marks. But it doesn't matter what marks you get. We'd better look for him. Good idea. I'll get on with it. So, who's first? Mm-mm, not me. No. I don't mind going first. I'll open up the garage in case you need anything. <laughs> Scoop? Is that you? at all. Scoop! Where are you? Well done, Mark. You get top marks. Ten out of ten. Yeah. What? Top marks? Scoop! Uh, just the machine we're looking for. Oh. Hello, Scoop. <gasps> um, Scoop's not here. Right. Then who are we talking to? Um, oh. Oh, Scoop. All you needed was a new light. But now look at you. I'm sorry. I wanted to get top marks, and now I won't get any. Well, we'll see about that. Can we fix him? Yes, yes we, we can. can. He's as good as new. Hooray! Well done, Scoop. Right then. Who's next for a checkup? Oh, no. Oh. Um. Lofty? Huh? Oh, you're next. No. I can't. I don't want to check up. I'm scared. Don't be scared, Lofty. I'm sure you're even braver than me. Do you really think so? Let's have our checkups together. Thanks, Scoop. That's two checkups coming right up. Engines, please. Faster, please. More revs. Okay. Mm. Excellent depth of thread. Perfectly round. Good. Emergency light, please. Mm -hmm. Higher, please. A little more. Thank you. Exhaust stack. <coughs> Thank you. Check. 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 Okay. That's it. Your checkups are done. Ah. Who knew? Something's wrong. So, how did they do, Curtis? Well, I checked Mark earlier and he got 10 out of 10. <laughs> Top marks. Yay! Scoop? He's got 10 out of 10. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. And Lofty. Hmm. Uh oh. He's got top marks too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How exciting! I knew I'd get top marks right from the start. Hmm. There's just one problem. Oh, oh no. no! I knew there was something wrong. Didn't I tell you there was something wrong? Oh dear! Oh dear! Don't worry, Lofty. You all look bright, shiny, and clean. But you, Bob, huh? Need a jolly good wash. Hmm. 
So it's time for a good scrub. Oh, no! <laughs> Wait! Hey! It's cold! Turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> oh, I think you missed a bit there, Wendy. OK, team, are you ready to finish building Spring City's new footbridge? Yeah! What's next, Bob? Well, we've already completed stage one, which was building the foundations and putting in place the piers that the bridge is going to sit on. Next is stage two, and we're going to build this section called the spa. Then we build out the deck of the bridge one chunk at a time, and to make it strong, we support each section with a cable attached to the spa. We need to have it ready for everybody to get to work and school on Monday morning. So, can we build it? Yes, we can! What are you two doing so close to the edge? I get nervous close to water. Leo says there are fish in the river coil. I don't believe him. Oh, but there are. This is the spot where I caught a really big fish. Really big? Yep. With a gigantic mouth full of ugly teeth and spikes down its back. Yuck. I think we should go back to the bridge. Uh, Bob and Wendy have almost finished the painting. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight. Hey, oh, ah, Bob. Hello, Mr. Bentley. Hello, Mr. Bentley. What are you doing with that measuring wheel? Oh, uh, it's the Spring City Quarter Marathon tomorrow, and I'm measuring the course. What's a quarter marathon? It's a six and a half mile long running race. Six and a half miles plus 88 yards to be exact, which means the finishing line is going to be 20 yards further on from this mark. In the river? No, Leo, on the bridge. Mayor Madison wants the finishing line on the new bridge. But the race is tomorrow morning. The bridge won't be ready. There's got to be a bridge, Wendy, or all the runners will have to stop running and start swimming. If we work hard, I think we can build it in time. Excellent, because the mayor wants the winner to officially open the bridge when they cross the line. Well, we better start work on the bridge deck then. Come on, team. section of the bridge deck in place. Looking good, Wendy. OK, Leo, you can start tightening the cable. Sure thing, Bob. <laughs> well done, Leo. The cable is supporting the bridge deck now. Thanks, Lofty. You can let go now. Shall I go and get the fourth section now? Yes, please, Lofty. And can you find out where Scoop is? He's supposed to be bringing us more cable. Right too. Uh... <laughs> Scoop? Ah! What are you staring at? Oh, hello, Lofty. Um, I'm looking at the river. Leo's been trying to frighten me with stories about fish being in there. But fish do live in rivers. Maybe in the countryside, but not in a big city river like the River Coil. I don't think Leo would make it up. Well, once I've delivered this cable to Bob, I'm going to take another look. Just to make sure. Ooh. More cable coming up! I've got the next piece of deck for you, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. Can you take it to the end of the bridge, please? OK. <sighs> Lofty, will you be all right to wait here while Bob, Leo and I get a drink of water? Sure thing, Wendy. No problem. Thanks, Lofty. Hey, Lofty! 
safety. There aren't any fish at all. Be careful of the water, Scoop. I'm not afraid of water. Look. Oh. Oh, it's water. Oh, no. Oh. Uh-oh. What is it? I think there's something in my rear bucket. Oh. It's a fish. Leo was right all along. Is it a big one with a gigantic mouth full of ugly teeth and spikes down its back? Well, I don't like to be rude, but yes. Ah! Help me! Help me! Help me! Looks like we'll finish the bridge just in time for the race. Who do you think's going to win? I don't know, but Sky Samson wins it most years. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to work, or there'll be no bridge to run across at all. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> ah, get it out! Fish, get out! Oh, it's flopping about! Watch out, Scoop! Slow down! Ah. Ah. Oh, thank goodness it's gone. <gasps> What's going on? Oh, I'm going to fall in! It's OK, Lofty. You're not going to fall. Stay calm. Slowly drive forwards. Uh, it's not working. Oh. None of Lofty's wheels are touching the ground, Bob. What are we going to do? It's a shame we can't just reel him in like a fish. Hang on a minute. That gives me an idea. Lofty! Don't move. Just do exactly what I say. Mm-hmm. Scoop, come forward really slowly so that your front bucket is below Lofty's hook. Uh-huh. Lofty, let your hook drop so Scoop can carry it. Wendy, Leo, go with Scoop and attach Lofty's hook to the base of the spar. Ow! You'll be fine, Lofty. OK. Stand back now. Now, Lofty, start pulling your hook in really slowly. Ooh. That's it. You're doing fine. And now, drive forward very gently. <laughs> yeah! Well done, Lofty. Thank you, Bob. I'm sorry, Lofty. I shouldn't have been messing about by the river. I put Lofty in danger and we've lost part of the bridge. The race will be ruined now. Don't worry, Scoop. You helped put things right, too. Did I? Yes. You said we should reel Lofty in like a fish, and that's exactly what we did. Except Lofty hasn't got ugly teeth and spikes down his back. <laughs> we'll get the bridge finished in time if we all work together. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Water Marathon! The winner will receive this trophy and have the honour of opening our brand new footbridge. Good luck, everyone! On your marks! But I haven't given Sky Samson her official race number yet. Oh, there's no time for that now. On your marks! Get set! Go! Uh, oh! 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 Come on, let's get back to the bridge. I want to see who wins. See you at the finishing line. Oh. Oh, no. I've still got Sky's race number. Wait for me. The bridge looks in great shape. As does Sky Samson. Look, she's well out in front. Someone's catching her up, though. Oh. 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 Sky, here is your race number. Ah! Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. What a relief. Yay! Yay! Oh. Good gracious. 
precious, Mr Bentley. You've just gone and beaten Sky Sampson. You've won the race. Me? <gasps> oh, dear. I really don't know what to say, Mayor Madison. How about... I now declare this bridge open. An excellent job so far, Bob. But the Mayor wants a private preview tonight. Riverdale are opening their dinosaur experience next week. And she wants to be sure we've got something better. Oh, we'll be ready, Mr. Bentley. Good show. Ah! I remember building this path. Bob, it winds all the way down to the cliff. I thought we finished it. Not quite, Scoop. The Mayor's decided this will be Fixum's new dino park attraction with life-size models of dinosaurs. What's a dinosaur? They were huge lizards that lived a very, very long time ago. Uh, how many dinosaurs will there be? Five. An Ankylosaurus, <gasps> an Iguanodon, a Stegosaurus, oh. and a Pterodactyl. Uh-oh. That's only four dinosaurs, Bob. And there'll be one special Triceratops model that can move and roar. That makes five. So, lots of dinosaurs are coming. The dinosaurs are only models. Don't be scared, Muck. I'm not scared. We need to add gates, signs, and position the dinosaur models along the route. Let's get going, team. What was that? A dinosaur? Oh no! A dinosaur might get me! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh fuck! Did you think I was a big yellow dinosaur? No need to be spooked, Muck. I don't think I like dinosaurs. Actually, when I was a small boy, I was a bit frightened of them too. You were scared, Leo. Do you know how I got over it? How? I pretended to roar like a dinosaur, as loud as I could, like this. Roar! Try it, Muck. OK. <gasps> like that. <laughs> that sounded fierce. Do you feel better? A little bit. Thank you, Leo. We need some more wood chippings to finish this path. Would you two go and fetch some? Sure, Bob. If you're waiting for a dinosaur, it's your lucky day. Wow, which dinosaur is this, Bob? It's called an iguanodon. And there are lots more to come. Here's the star of the show, Bob. One Triceratops at your service. Brilliant! Thanks, Tutum. OK, Lofty, place it among the bushes. Great. Now to test it. Now, the Triceratops has to go here because this is where we installed its power cable. Is this the one that moves, Bob? <gasps> Can we say? It's not moving. Well, the model has built-in detectors at the front. It only moves when someone gets close. Try it, Scoop. <laughs> Ooh! Great! OK, guys, can I leave you to put the rest of the models in their places while I paint the entrance gates? Sure, Bob. Will do. Great! The Triceratops does look quite scary with those horns. Mm-hmm. How about we surprise Leo? How can we do that? He won't expect to see a moving dinosaur blocking the path. Ooh, dinosaurs. Remember, Muck, they're not real. If you say so, Leo. Leo, come see what we've found. Hmm. 
Hey, Scoop! Scoop! What have you found? Oh, Mark, what have you done? I'm sorry, Bob. I forgot that it was only a model. I thought it was real. It definitely sounded real. Why was the Triceratops in the middle of the path, guys? Sorry, Bob. We weren't trying to scare Mark. We just wanted to surprise Leo. He said he was scared of dinosaurs. But I grew out of that a long time ago, Lofty. Now we've lost the Dino Park's main attraction. Huh? And there isn't much time before Mayor Madison arrives. Bob, look! Don't go too close to the edge, Scoop. The Triceratops is only halfway down the cliff. And in one piece! Hmm. Now, if we can reach it, we can still get the park finished in time. But how? It's a long way down. I'll abseil down the cliff. <gasps> or some. OK, Scoop. You'll be my anchor. So you'll need to stay still and keep your brakes on. Understood, Bob. Lofty, you lower your hook when I say. Yes, Bob. <laughs> OK, Lofty, you can lower it down. Right too. Take us up, Lofty! The dinosaur riding cowboy. We did it! <laughs> it's not over yet, Lofty. We need to hurry and get the park finished. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Mayor Madison, we're almost ready for your visit to Dino Park. Excellent, Bob. I'm so looking forward to seeing it. As am I. The beasts of the Cretaceous era are a special interest of mine. Especially our prized Triceratops. The Riverdale models don't move, you know. Oh, sorry. I've forgotten something. Just wait two minutes. OK, guys, we're done. Not quite. Huh? Huh? Why is it not making any noise? The fool must have broken its roar. And the mayor is here. There's no time to fix it. Wait! I know someone who can make a good roaring noise. Who's that then? Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. No problem, Bob. I'm just glad you've finished the park in good time. Shall we? Oh. oh, very impressive. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic. Oh. <gasps> oh. Isn't it meant to make a sound? Ooh. Yes, well, I'm not certain Triceratops would have sounded like that. It sounded very realistic to me. <laughs> I like pretending to be a dinosaur. Hmm. Where did Scoop and Lofty go? <laughs> Were you scared? Uh, maybe just a little? I wasn't. I was, uh, helping Lofty. OK, I admit it. 
Muck can make the scariest dinosaur sound. Don't you think, Bob? 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 Yes. He, he's not bad. <laughs> he's not bad at all. <clears throat> not bad at all. I think this is going to be one of the biggest things we've ever built. Yeah, they don't come much bigger than skyscrapers. Bob says it'll be about ten times taller than me at full stretch. Wow. Right, team. We're ready to start digging the foundations for the skyscraper. We're going to dig a deep hole about the size of three school buses stacked up. So, where are the buses? Instead of actual buses, we're going to use my laser measure. It'll tell us when we've got to the right depth. Look, Scoop is exactly 5.63 metres away from me. Well, hey! How far's that, then? That's about half a school bus long. And this empty tea mug is exactly nine centimetres deep. Hold on, team. It's Mayor Madison calling. I'd better answer this. Mm, I love digging new ground. It's all fresh and new and ready to be scooped. And I can't wait to get stuck into all that muck. No machine can dig faster and deeper than me. Hey. I bet I can clear the earth away quicker than you can dig it. Ho <laughs> ho! We'll soon see about that. You two young fellows ready to load me up? Ready! Too right. Hold your horsepower, you two. Wait for Bob's signal. Oh. Well, we can certainly try. Hello, Mayor Madison. Oh, hello. You can't exactly rush a skyscraper, Mayor. You have to dig down before you can build up. Great! So, off you go and get digging, then. Bye now! Ah, so the Mayor stopped us digging to tell us to hurry up with the digging. Did you hear that, Muck? That is a direct order from Mayor Madison to get digging! Let the challenge begin! Okay, team. Good work. Let's see if we're near the correct depth. Hmm. Now what? Yes, Mayor Madison, we're digging. Okay. Let's take a break, everyone. Oh, we were only just getting going. Why are people always taking breaks? Us machines don't need to. Steady, young fella. I thought we were on a break. No time to stop. More earth to get. Arr. There's usually a good reason why we've stopped. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I got carried away trying to race Scoop. Is Scoop still digging? Yes, faster than ever. Scoop, you can stop digging now. I've stopped. You win. Nice try, Max, but I'm not falling for that one. You just want me to stop so you can win. No, I don't care about losing the challenge. Well, I do. I have been waiting ages to get this build started. I know the feeling. These are exciting times for Spring City. Uh, Bob? <laughs> Nothing says busy, bustling business like a skyscraper does. Bob? Wendy? Hmm. You've gone much too deep, Scoop. 
I said as deep as three school buses, remember? You could fit a whole fleet of buses in there. Right. Let's see what you've hit. It looks like some kind of wall. Let's just fill the hole up again. Sorry, Muck, but when you find something unexpected in the ground, you have to stop work. It's hard to tell for certain, but this wall could be really old and special. I'll go and call Anish Bose, the archaeologist. The archaeologist? Archaeologist. They're people who help teach us about the olden days by finding things that have been buried underground for hundreds of years. Ooh. They're experts in digging stuff up. I thought that was me. <laughs> I think you've done enough digging for today, Scoop. Yes, there is no doubt. This is one of the most exciting discoveries in years. This is extremely bad news. Underneath this earth lies the remains of a wall from Roman times. From a fort or a villa, probably. Oh, Roman. What's that? The Romans were people who lived here about 2,000 years ago. They were excellent builders. Ooh, just like us. Talking of building, Professor Bose, when can we get going again? Well, hard to say. But this dig is going to take at least a month. A month? That's ages! I did all that in just one morning. Aha! But unlike you, we have to dig very slowly and very carefully. Well, no wonder it takes so long. Your brushes are way too tiny. Well, it looks like we've got no choice. We'll have to stop working. Hello, everyone. Oh, dear. I've come to get a progress report for the mayor. Sorry, Mr Bentley. I'm afraid there won't be any progress. No progress? Oh, dear me, no. Mayor Madison won't be at all happy. I... Why don't you come to my office? Have a nice cup of tea. The mugs are nine centimetres deep. Well, that certainly is generous. See what the fuss is all about. Looks like a load of broken flower pots to me. Not a flower pot, Mr. Scoop. This amphora was what the Romans used for water. Ah, now what do we have here? But what am I going to tell Mayor Madison? She'll think this is absolutely fascinating. If I'm not mistaken, that's part of a Roman hedometer. Come and see, Bob. You're going to find this very interesting. The hodometer. It was used to measure distance. Ah, just like my laser measure. Instead of a laser, this used a little wheel to measure distance. <laughs> that would have taken ages. Yes, no engines to speed up the work in Roman time. Just people using handmade tools, pulleys and cranes. Truly incredible. Hi, Scoop. Not much of a building site when you can't build, eh? Oh, Bob, it's all my fault. And I can't even help the Archie Watsons with their digging because they use tiny little brushes and I'm a big, clumsy machine. Never mind, Scoop. You'd be better off without me, just like the Romans. Big machines just make big mistakes for lots of people to come and stare at. <laughs> There's no way I could do my job without big machines like you. Really? Yes. And those people don't think it's a mistake, they think it's amazing. I mean, you don't see Roman ruins every day. Hang on. What is it, Bob? I've got an idea. Scoop, gather the team. Right, team, we're not going to sit around twiddling our thumbs. Oh, good. I was bored to my brake pads. Everyone wants to watch the excavation. So, let's build them a viewing gallery that will be safe. Yes, Bob! And Scoop, we definitely do need your help because we have to build this one fast. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! to see the hotometer. Where's Mr Bentley? And what on earth is going on here? Over here, Mayor Madison. This isn't a skyscraper. 
No, indeed. It's much more interesting than that. It's the remains of a Roman fort. Come and have a look. Ooh, look, there's Spring City TV. We are thrilled to have found Roman history underneath Spring City. From the ruins of the past springs the city of the future. Because after all, you've got to dig down before you can build up. Well said, Mayor Madison. Hey, that's what I said. She took my line. Mum, did you hear that? <laughs>